The potential danger of recurrent hitting of a soccer ball was addressed recently in a presentation at the Radiology Society of North America. A study looking at the radiologic and mental effects of this maneuver has raised concerns about the potential of the long-term consequences of this practice. Researchers at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine identified 34 adult men and women who had played soccer since childhood. Each player was asked to complete a detailed survey regarding the number of times they headed the ball in the past year, take a series of mental agility tests, and undergo MRI examination. The conclusion was that frequent headers were significantly different than the other players. Those who had more than 1,000 headings in the past year showed evidence of loss of cells in the area of brain related to memory, attention, and processing of visual information. In addition, the headers performed much worse on a memory test involving word identification. The concern is that the pattern of MRI changes in test performance is similar to patients who have suffered traumatic brain injury. Dr. Michael Lipton, Associate Director of the Gruss Magnetic Resonance Research Center at Albert Einstein, stated, based on these results, it does look like there is a potential for significant effect on the brain from frequent hitting. This report builds on earlier data, including an analysis of memory loss in retired Scandinavian soccer players in the early 1990s. Last year, a study was published looking at a group of active college soccer players. After preseason tests of memory and recall, the players were tracked both in practice and during games for the frequency of heading. Those in the high contact group performed significantly worse at the end of the season and also reported more headaches and dizziness. So what is a soccer mom or dad to do? Unfortunately, there is enough to get one nervous, but not enough to make specific recommendations. Certainly, there is no cause to panic or overreact. It is probably reasonable to avoid routine hitting in practice or in games with children under the age of 12 years old. Parents should be vigilant of certain warning symptoms in relation to soccer, particularly headaches or dizziness. You should be aware of how your child coach views this issue and whether he, she shares an appropriate common sense approach to heading. As soccer becomes a passion for your child and he, she becomes a year-round player, then a discussion with your pediatrician is indicated. <laughs>